March 13th, 1997. This event called Lights Over Phoenix. What did you see? Well, I saw a, uh, a huge craft just kind of come right over Squaw Peak. Um, that was, you know, it was just breathtaking. And um, I, I'm not sure about the, the date. You've, you've got a better memory March for the 13. dates than I do. Yeah. But there was no, like the Clinton day, no. No. <laughs> no. I was on a strict diet. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious now. That, that it was a, it was a, unquestionably it was a UFO, which means unidentified flying object. Right. Doesn't nothing, mean we're being visited. Well, it's nothing like anything I've ever seen. And, and you're an Air Force guy. Yeah, yeah, and a pilot. Uh, got a lot of hours flying. So uh, it was pretty breathtaking. And, um, and I'll never forget, I, I snuck out to see it um, you know, without DPS, um, which I, I'm not supposed to be driving my own car and that kind oh, of thing. Yeah. And so, uh, but I told Ann what I was doing. I was going to go up to Squaw Peak and see what everybody was, you know, clamoring about. And um, when I walked in the front door, she looked at me, and I was apparently just, normally I'm fair complected and pale anyway, right? And she said, oh my gosh, she said, she'd look like a ghost. What, what, what did you see? And I said, well, I don't know what I saw, but it's, it was really something, and I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> and, uh, wow. So Were you, did it frighten you? No, I, no I, I think I was kind of in awe, really, you know. How big? Bigger than anything I've ever seen in the sky. Like an aircraft carrier in the yeah, sky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that, yeah. And it, and it was hard to define because of the light in terms of the size, but it, but it was absolutely silent and had sort of eerie embedded lights. And, you know, so that's what I saw. And I wasn't expecting to see anything because I was looking out over at Luke uh, right. to the west. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, these people in the park uh, area on the just on the west side of 51 there were a bunch of people there everybody said oh look at that and we turned around and this thing was coming from the northwest traveling to the southeast we now know um, and it really hit me when when we were watching the diamondbacks in game seven and the b1 flew over mm -hmm. over the it wasn't bomb. A, yeah it wasn't a b1 bomber but that thing all of a sudden out of nowhere appears. And, yeah. I, and, I, and I said to somebody that night, I said, well, you know, when they do test these, mm -hmm. they test them in populated areas. They're new stuff. They mm -hmm. test it to see if people detect it. Mm -hmm. Do you believe it was ours? Do you believe it was something from the U.S. government that they no. were kind of flying around? No, it wasn't even close to a B. It was much bigger than a B-1. A B-1 actually isn't that big. I mean, right. I mean if it's, it's at low altitude, it'll appear a big. But no, this, this was totally different. Something, though, that you think our own government may have been kind of running by a populated area to see what would happen? <laughs> well, they, cer they certainly achieved uh, their goal of stirring the pot, if that's what they were doing. But I don't think, I don't think so. I, don't, I think this was technologically far advanced. I, also, I, I, use the, I use the analogy. Can you imagine if you took uh, Christopher Columbus and put him in the cockpit of a Boeing 777? what his reaction would be. He, he wouldn't understand it. He would be convinced that this is something from another world, you know. Is that what and I think, I, I really believe, I believe that. I believe that. But I've always been open to that. You know, we're not alone in the universe. Uh, we're, I agree with you find that. We're going to find that out one way or the other. Even Bill Clinton was talking about that the other day on the national news. I saw that. Yeah. I do believe that, that mm -hmm. we're not alone. I just don't mm -hmm. know that we've been visited. Well, but you the, think maybe that night we were. I, I think so, yeah. There have been so many different sort of sightings and inexplicable phenomena that, you know, um, but, but the disparity um, in terms of technological progress would be so vast that we would be, I think, of sort of no consequence to whoever is visiting us because the technology to get here would be just beyond anything we could imagine. Did it hover? No, it was just going in a straight line. Slow pace. Yeah, slow pace, yeah. And then, you know, there were all the sightings. Flares. There were the sightings of the America West plane coming into Sky yeah. Harbor, said he could have landed on it. It was enormous. Yeah. Like an aircraft carrier in the sky, is that about as close yeah, I as think you could? Yeah, I think that's a fair description. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Maybe it's our next generation we're working on. Who knows? Well, we'll find out it someday.